All right, welcome back everybody. Today, we're not working on Bob's Jeep. We're moving on to a different project. But it's still a Jeep, it's still a JL, and I still have to do this to Bob's Jeep as well. But today, we're gonna work on our shop JL. We got about 40, almost 50,000, it's like 48,000 miles on our Jeep. We've done a lot of off-roading. Not a lot of it's been on-road. Most of it's been off-road, whether it's two tracking, whether it's just, uh, you know, dusty, dirty roads. Uh, we've been, you know, we've done a bunch of trips with it and stuff, so we've had a lot of fun. The carpet's starting to kind of take a beating. It's time for something new. Company we absolutely fell in love with it, one of the Jeep Jamborees is called Armor Light. They make a really cool flooring system. If you're familiar with like the WeatherTech style floor mats or any of those like molded plastic style floor mats, it would remind you of that and the fact that it's basically a complete carpet replacement system, but it looks like it's that type of material is like your WeatherTech floor mat. But it's much more complex. It's a dual layer system. There's all sorts of science behind it. I don't even know what it all is. It's just really freaking cool, so we bought it. You should go to Armor Light's website and check out their product, because if your carpet looks like it can crap in your JK, your JL, or your, T, or your uh, JT, your truck, you might want to consider this as a replacement to your carpet. I hate taking carpet out and just bedlining it, because you lost all the ability to keep the heat out of the vehicle. Your floorboards will get warm and everything. I hate that. I love having carpet. Carpet sucks to keep clean. This is a perfect alternative. So we're gonna unbox this, we're gonna show you what it looks like. I've never seen it except for in a JK at one of the Jamborees. So it'll be really cool to see the backside of it, finally. I've never seen the backside of this material yet. And then we're gonna strip the interior out of my shop, JL, and we're gonna put this stuff in. So let's unbox and see what the heck this looks like. I'm excited to see it. So this is the box it comes in. It's actually quite a large box. It's not heavy at all, literally. Not heavy. We're replacing carpet for Pete's sakes. It does not hold an axle. I'm so excited. After all this time, I finally get to see what this thing looks like. I'm so excited. They do offer like a different color. They offer like maybe two colors. I don't really remember. I went black because anything else would just look weird in my Jeep. Um, I did order front and rear, but not the cargo area. I don't even know if they have the cargo area out for the jail yet. I don't think they do. Um, either way, I wouldn't want it anyways. It's not gonna work for the setup because we're getting ready to do some stuff in the back of my Jeep too. I just wanted the front and rear seat area. Um, so you do have to buy two pieces. So again, it's kind of like the WeatherTech concept as far as it's all molded and plastic, but it's like carpet in the fact that it's got all of your uh, temperature protection. And there's multiple different layers of product back here. Honestly, like, I feel that this is going to be a really simple install. Holy crap. So the cool part is, and one of the features I liked about this product, if it gets all nasty, muddy, grimy, anything, you literally just get in here, soap and water, and you really rinse it off, and it goes right out the drain, right out the Jeep. They put drain plugs in here, so you can literally just wash this thing out. You could technically probably power wash it. I wouldn't want all the extra water in my Jeep, but you can hit it with a scrub brush and soap and water, and then just rinse it out of the Jeep with a garden hose. That is going to be amazing. And then you're going to have all that stinky, nasty, wet carpet. So I'm going to sit this off to the side and we're going to see what some of these pieces, other pieces look like. Now, I say the install should be relatively easy, which means removing seats, pulling carpet. If you have any rust or any scuffs or scratches and scrapes, you better put some paint on there to protect it. Let it dry before you put the stuff down. I'm going to go one step further. When we bought, did Bob's TJ, when we put new carpet in his, we bought sound deadener. We sound deadened the whole entire inside of the Jeep before we put the new carpet in. It literally made that Jeep probably 50% quieter on the inside of the vehicle. My jail's relatively quiet. I don't really have any concerns there necessarily, but I'm there, why not? I had a couple boxes of uh, sound deadener leftovers for some other projects. So I'm gonna sound deaden the whole entire floor on my Jeep before we put this in there. Again, why not? I'm already there. You don't have to do that, but I hate noise. I love my stereo. So, oh man, this other section, the rear section's huge. So there's the rear section. Holy cow. Man, that's like, it's almost like OEM carpet molded perfect. Holy cow. I bet you that fits in really nicely. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so what we're gonna do now, do a little time lapse video for you. We're gonna show you pulling the interior out. It's a whole bunch of nuts, bolts, and screws. Boring crap. We're gonna pull the interior out. Then we're gonna show you why we're doing the sound deadener. And then we're gonna see how this stuff fits. So let's go do it. So we just took the floor mats out. We are now gonna remove the bolts for the rear seat. 
and we're going to remove the rear seat and then we're going to work our way towards the front because with the front seats out there's a seam in the carpet underneath there and once we get the center console out we'll be able to deal with getting all the rear carpet out something we have to deal with is we have our arv air compressor underneath the passenger seat you might not have to deal with that so your install might be easier but that's something we're going to have to deal with so now we're going to take out the rear seats and keep working our way forward Now we have the seats out. It's gross, don't judge me. There's crap everywhere. So with the seats out, what we're gonna be able to do now is just literally pull the carpet out. We're literally just gonna lift the carpet up, out, we're gonna vacuum it. You're gonna pull all this trim out, and we will get there. But for now, we basically just pull the carpet out. We're still gonna pull the center console though. So after we pop those last couple bolts of the center console, I'm gonna try not to remove the whole entire center console. I'm gonna try to cheat. I'm gonna try to just pull the two bolts here and that'll allow me to lift it up enough to get the rear carpet out. And then we'll pull a couple bolts in the front and try to just slightly gently lift it up and hopefully I can squeak the carpet off from underneath the center console without going crazy and tearing it all apart. Might have to, I don't know. You'll uh, have to just watch and see, I suppose. It does look like a baked potato in here. We got the sound deadener put in. This is not an exact science. You don't have to have every single, like right there I missed a spot, right? Because we don't care. You're not gonna get every single square inch, but you try to get the majority of it and you cut out for your plugs. Don't forget to cut out for your seat bolts and stuff like that. And then in the rear, so in the rear, I stopped here and there's a reason for that but you're gonna have to wait until the next video comes out because we got a whole bunch of stuff we're gonna do in this back cargo area that's kind of unique and kind of neat, but you're gonna have to wait and see that video. So now we got everything all sound deadened. 
Let's put this four liner in here and see what it looks like. flooring is in this stuff literally fits amazing just unbelievable fitment it tucks in right around everything we had to make a couple modifications simply because well everything on this jeep's been modified and it's no fault of the manufacturer they can't engineer something to fit around everybody else's modifications so because the arb air compressor is under the seat the flooring was too thick for it to actually all still fit so we had to trim some of the flooring back a little bit we're gonna end up gluing a piece of the flooring back in right here so you won't see this area at all. And uh, other than that, I mean, we had to make a small modification back here. We have some uh, huge monster cables that are heading towards the rear of the vehicle for the next video for you to see. But the fit and finish is absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable. And it is literally twice as thick as the factory carpet we took out. So I know this is gonna retain the temperature better inside the vehicle. And with the sound deadening plus this, the noise should be drastically different. Not that it was noisy to begin with, but it should be better. So let's put the seats in. We got a couple little mods we got to finish. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I think we're just going to close this video with this. I was actually pretty impressed. I can't, I can't believe how thick it is compared to the stock stuff. They have a complete step-by-step -step instructional video on their website. So usually i'll get one or two guys that'll say hey can you do an install video no because they already did one you want to see an install video step by step go to their website armor light they got a great website it's very informative they have installs for all the different kits they offer so you can actually watch step by step this is a pretty easy install you do not have to take your seats all the way out you the rear seats you don't have to take out at all front seats you just got to take the bolts loose so you can move the seats back and forth it's actually a lot easier than the way we did it, but I wanted to add the sound deadener, so we decided to just strip it all out and clean it and do it that way. I would not recommend you do that unless you specifically want the sound deadener as well. So again, this is a pretty simple install with some basic hand tools. You could do this in your driveway. So we appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. Subscribe, and next week, again, the back of this JL, we're gonna do some pretty cool stuff back there. Uh, it's not stuff that you can just readily go buy from anyone. So that'll be kind of fun, a little bit different tone. So see you guys next week.